Gonna have a fine game for you today. Welcome to it. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. And the match today, Crawley Town, they play Chesterfield. Crawley Town, hoping that they can reach the same heights again as they did in their away win against Milton Keynes Dons. Yeah, good solid 1-0 win and capable of more of the same here. This is the home team lineup. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Could be dangerous. Gardner. Some options now for the pass. Shot on! Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. Camero. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Defender blocks the cross. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. That's a proper old-fashioned clearance there from the defender. And the cross coming in. Well, crossing is a skill, and that's not a very good example of it. They've spoilt the promise of that attack. Gonna try one now. Off the post. the ball in they put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper it's a big call as we look back on it because there would have been a real chance to get a goal had the flag stayed down yeah I think uh, that's why maybe he went just a little bit too early he knew he was through the lad but rightly flagged here's an open going for goal saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch Just working away to try and find an opening. It's a neat pass. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Goal news from Bradford. It's a goal for Colchester United. 21 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. Brilliant football from this team. In comes the challenge. Gardner. On to the attack now. And here's the shot. Good work by the goalkeeper. It was a draw when these two teams met earlier in the season, so um, I don't think there's much between them now, is there? Not an awful lot, no. And, uh, if I was a betting man, I think I would put my money on a draw again here. Punched away by the goalkeeper. Gardner. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. He's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play very well. Simons. Doing well to keep the ball. And here's O'Shea. Gets his foot in there. Corner given after that tackle. Good forward play from them. And shoots! Goalkeeper hangs on. 
This is how they love to play on the break. Got to be. Now they have the advantage. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. And that's half-time. Signaled by the referee. 1-0 the half-time. So we're all set for the second half. Goal news from Northampton. It's a second goal for Gillingham. 47 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Read the play well to intercept. Could be dangerous. And now the shot. The defenders managed to get in the way there. They have spent the big bucks, Barcelona. Well, he'll certainly be happy with it. And I think maybe the buying club will too, because £40 million, pounds, around that figure anyway, seems uh, a reasonable price for somebody of his quality. It should be. The shot's hit the post. Let's hear from Alan McAnally, who's got news of us sending off at the game he's watching. It's a red card for the visitors. It's a quick break, and here's the shot. That's a spectacular save. Not turning the ball around, he's hung on to it. And in he goes with the tackle. And that'll be a throw. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. And here's O'Shea. Substitute coming up for the away team. He's, the shot's on! He's blocked the shot well. O'Shea! Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Some potential in this move. Shot on! That's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Still 20 minutes to go. So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think we could probably tell that without even looking at the figures. Not much to split these two sides. Camero. It comes the challenge. Goal news from Peterborough. It's a second goal for Peterborough United. 76 minutes played. 2-2. Two -two. Thank you very much, Alan. Cross coming in now. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. And pretty easy. Here's the chance. Oh, the pressure of getting his team level maybe got to him because he's made a hash of it. I just wonder whether at the end of this match they'll look back on that chance as the one that cost them dearly. It's Ian Everett.
He's given the possession away here. Romero. Excellent play to lose his marker. Great passage of passing play there. And now the shot! What a good way to score. It's the substitute who scored. That's a terrific effort by him and by the manager who sent him on. Well, he's hit it hard and he's hit it first time, but perhaps the keeper could have got more on that. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. We've got two added minutes, that's been signalled now. It's looking good, this move, and he could get away here. He's had a go here, and a goal into the bottom corner. Well, it's just a footnote to the match, really. It confirms the win. Yeah, I think the goal scorer would be pleased. Another one for, for his tally late on the match here. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3-0 they lead. Nolan. Well, that confirms it, the final score, 3-0.